Welcome to video 3 in my video series on how to use Skype. In today's video, we will look at how to set your privacy settings. Skype's privacy settings lets you control who can contact you on Skype and helps you to manage your conversation history. We will also look at some of the other settings to personalize your Skype software. By default, your privacy settings are set so that you can see your profile picture or share your screen or video with just the people in your contact list. However, anyone can still search for you and call you or send you an instant message. You can change these settings at any time. Today we will look at changing your settings. To change your privacy settings, first open up Skype. In the Skype window, click on Skype and then choose Privacy Settings. Your Privacy Settings dialog box will open. In this window, you will have several sections. Allow calls from anyone, automatically receive video and share screens, allow IMs, and show that I have video. Under each section, you can choose to share with anyone or just people in your contact list. To choose an option, click the option and set it as your default. Under the Keep History section, click the drop down arrow and choose how often you would like Skype to keep the history of your conversations. You can choose no history, two weeks, one month, three months, or forever. Click on an option to set the default. If you do not want to share your profile detail, details with advertisers, be sure to uncheck Allow Microsoft Targeted Ads box. In the left-hand pane, you can continue setting options by clicking on individual tabs and then reading through each section and marking your choices. Under the General tab, you will be allowed to make options that will allow you to double click on a contact to start a call or start Skype when you start Windows. There are several other choices. Just click to place a check mark in the box next to the choice you want to apply. When you open the General Settings tab, you will also see in the left hand pane options for setting your audio, your sound, and your video settings. Click on these tabs and mark your options. The Notifications tab will allow you to set options for the events you wish to be notified about, such as when someone comes online or when someone starts an instant message with you. To apply a setting, just click to put a, che a check mark or unclick to take the check mark out. You can continue clicking each tab in the left hand pane and carefully viewing each section to set your preferences. Remember that when you're through, be sure to click the Save button at the bottom of the window. Once you have gone through all the tabs and set your options so that Skype works the way you want, then it is time to begin setting your contacts. Adding contacts will allow you to enjoy and experience calling and video chatting with your family and friends. I hope you have found this video informative and we will cover how to get contacts and how to find friends in Skype in the next video.